Okay, so I did a, um, you know, I left the game. I uh, checked uh, for any possible issues. There really shouldn't be, I, there's only one possible mod I think could have caused that if it was a mod at all, not just some random bug. But uh, there is a mod I have that is supposed to fix what weapons Shepard uses during cutscenes appropriate to their training. So like, for example, you know how sometimes if you're playing like, say, for example, an Adept and Shepard will use an assault rifle in a cutscene and you're like, wait a minute, I'm an Adept, I can't use assault rifles. I have a mod that's uh, supposed to fix that that's part of another mod. And I'm wondering if that somehow caused that issue, but I don't really know for sure. There were a couple of updates uh, to a couple of mods, so I updated those. I did a fresh restart of my uh, PC just to, you know, make sure things are okay. Um, yeah, so everything should be fine. It could have been just some something random. Before we help Zaid, there's one thing we have to do. I know you guys want me to do it. You know which place we have to probe. Really, Commander? <laughs> I love the way Edie says that. Really, Commander? Probing Uranus. <laughs> That's the other one. Probing Uranus. <laughs> like she's just not happy at all about having to say that. Cause she's cause she's like, I know what you want me to say. All right, fine, Shepard, I'll say it. All right, we did it. Let's move on. Let's go help Zaid. We, of course, will take Garrus with us. It was funny for a little gag, but I'm not really too fond of the avalanche anyway. I do love the, you know, the black hole gun. I also love the arc projectors against heavy mech opponents like, you know, those mechs we faced in the last mission or the gunship. You know, they do really well. So I tend to stick with the arc projector in case I need to go against a very uh, heavily shielded or mech type of enemy. Uh, let's see. And that's more Garrus' style. This is more Zaid's style. And I've always, you know, I've always kind of thought this assault rifle kind of looked cool in terms of his style and such compared to the others. It's worth noting that, of course, it doesn't necessarily matter, but there's just something about the look and style of this rifle that I thought this uh, fits Zaid. That's just my, that's just me. Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Switch up. Here we go. Keep close. The 
shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Cowards. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. You'll take note that uh, when we took him on the Garrus uh, mission to save him, that they were familiar with Zaid. It goes to show that Zaid is still known amongst Blue Suns, uh, including Batarian Blue Suns, I might add, considering what Zaid just said. But that's why they got that reaction when they saw Zaid, because he may have been wiped by Vito, but they still know Zaid. Plus, Zaid has gotten his name very well known uh, over the past 20 years or so. So even if he's not associated with the Blue Suns, he's still very well known as a merc, uh, regardless amongst like the Blue Suns and others. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my man against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. I do like that quote, though it is worth knowing that technically Shepard did not survive that, but like I said, that we're pulling it technically at that point. We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! And this is where Zaid starts to lose his cool. The closer we get to Vito and his revenge, the more he starts to lose it. Because he's so eager to finally get his revenge. I mean, wouldn't you? 20 years having to wait to get revenge against the man who 
caused all that to Zaid? It's understandable. So close. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. So yeah, Zaid made a mistake because he was so eager he didn't really properly think this through. And this kind of starts to become an issue here where the results of this mission can actually be quite interesting depending on how you choose to go about reacting to what Zaid is doing in this mission. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. Thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Founded in 2160 by the human mercenaries Zaid Masani and Vito Santiago, the Blue Suns were initially a Skillian Verge protection racket. As they expanded in numbers and influence, the two co-founders disagreed vehemently on many issues. Finally, after arguing about whether to recruit the slave-trading Batarians into their ranks, Vito ambushed Zaid and shot him in the head. But leaving Zaid dead, Vito took full control of the Blue Suns and hired whatever Batarians he pleased. Soon, he had crowned one named Solem Dalsera as titular head of the operations. It was a move designed to pl placate his Batarian investors and draw fire from would-be assassins. It worked on both counts, and the partnership has lasted to this day. Over the decades, the Suns grew into a fearsome combat force, spanning dozens of planets in Citadel space, the Verge, and the Terminus systems. Knowing that a good logistical team is key to fielding an army, Vito diversified the Suns, selling arms, training, and supplies as often as taking contracts to crack skulls, even when the Suns offered heavy losses. Vito's entrepreneurial ex expertise ensured new recruits could replace the old. All that was lost was the truth. Today, only a handful of trusted mercs even know who Vito Santiago is, let alone his old partner, Zaid. And then here comes the big choice. Well, the first of the big choices, depending on how you choose here. to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it.
Don't just stand there, man. Run! I'll take it. Ah, yes, the flamethrower. Cut me up ahead. I'll admit, I'm not really too fond of this. It's, it's fine, but, eh. Like I said, I prefer the, uh, Either the arc projector or uh, the black hole gun. There's a mech we're going to be fighting later, so I'll go ahead and uh, switch back to that. Ah, uh, this room. I remember trying this on harder difficulties. And this room was, uh... It was a bit tough. I do like that Vito, of course, knows who uh, Shepard is. Oh gosh. Shot ready. Going to cover. Engage. Oh. 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 
Here comes the mech. Okay. Time for the arc projector. There we go. Just wrecks them. Shepard checks for loot, and <laughs> meanwhile Vito gets away, and Shep and Zaid's like, "Are you serious, Shepard? We could kill Vito right now if you just stop looking for loot." Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, oh. So this can actually go badly where you can actually decide that Zaid turning a gun on you there was too far. Zaid, you alright? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. Put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, you can actually leave him to die right there. To, uh, you know, either burn or, you know, suffer from that explosion of that there. Um, as payback for what, uh, <laughs> you know, for him getting mad at you there. So, this can actually result in Zaid dying here. But of course, I want him to stick around. It's a shame that we don't get a follow-up later on to actually try and take out Vito, uh, despite that choice. But, nope, the only way to really take down Vito is to let the people in there die. So, Eldfell Ashland Refinery on Zoria has been liberated, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vito Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. So, new outfit and new power... This mission takes me back. 
Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Can't believe Vito got away. Twenty years of tracking, gone. Just like that. But I gotta let that go. We have more important things to do. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. It's such a shame that they uh, resort to this particular uh, design for Zaid and Kasumi, and they kind of kept it for the third game, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. So, when we return, we will be going after this warlord guy named Dr. Okir, a very old Krogan warlord. I wonder what he might have to offer. Stay tuned. <laughs> 